Okay, so just a little bit ago, we filmed a ton of B-roll out here doing a uh, four-wheeler and sledding through the snow. It's kind of changed because the wind came in, kind of blew all the snow away and everything. But I want to show you guys kind of how I edit B-roll and how slight changes in editing your B-roll can make huge, huge differences. So I'm going to show you a couple different ways I did it. So here we go. Okay, so obviously the first thing you want to do is bring in all your B-roll. People like to edit this different ways, so the way I like to do it is go through it on the preview screen, select the ins and outs of where I want it by clicking I and O, and then dragging the clip in. Since I rarely use the sound that I get from the B-roll clip in the actual finished product, I just drag the video over and I'm good. Once you get better at editing B-roll, you will start to film your B-roll in different ways for your editing expertise. I recommend filming it in as broad of a way as you can. That way if the client that you're working with or you decide to go in a different direction with the B-roll, you can make those adjustments. Always film your B-roll in the highest frame rate you can. So once I drag my clips over, I start to arrange them in a certain way. I like to go chronologically as much as I can or tell a story. Like in this case, we had to make the route through the snow first before we could start pulling the sleds. So we wanted to show the person riding the ATV plowing through the snow and then attaching the sled to it. Now in this particular instance, the client wanted a particular song to it. So the first edit we did was to that song. And most of these edits were pretty simple. I slowed down the footage. I matched it to the beat of the song, which is very, very important match the beat of your song to the change of your scene. And also it's good rule of thumb not to let your B-roll sequence last more than three seconds before it cuts to a new scene. Another thing you can do for the beat is you can zoom in the picture a little bit. For like example on this scene, I zoomed it from 100, cut the scene, and then in the next clip it was 110, so it just zoomed it in a little bit, but it was on the beat. So it was a very sharp zoom and it just brings, it engages your audience a little bit more. So in this case, it was pretty simple. I arranged the clips according to the beats on the music. I slowed everything down, and this was the finished product. So when the client saw this one, he didn't really like the song as much now that he could see it with the B-roll. And in this one, we did a few more of those cuts, um, a little bit more dramatic to the beat, stuff like that. And it turned out a lot better. And it looked like this.
But then after watching that, we decided, you know what, we we want to even go a different direction with this. We want to make it look really epic. We want to do a bunch of speed ramping. We want to go with the music. We want to add sound effects. We want to do all these different things. So after a bunch more editing, we, we put it all together and it looked like this. And then finally, the client decided he wanted to do a voiceover for the whole video to give a little inspirational speech to all the people who were dealing with the insane cold and snow up where we live. So we added the voiceover in and the finished product that we published a couple days later was this. You know, perspective is such an interesting thing. Every time it snows, I hear how people are complaining about it's cold, it's miserable, it's not fun, it's not exciting. That it's all just about enjoying the environment, the moment that you're in. Taking that time and just diving into it, literally just diving in and experiencing life. And so right now in the United States, there's over 200 million people that are dealing with the cold, dealing with snow. and. You gotta just look at it in a different perspective. And I get it, not everybody has a four-wheeler, not everybody has this or that, or whatever it might be. You just take these moments and you enjoy them. Because if you just sit and complain about them, nothing's gonna change. But if you embrace them, and if you take the time to dive into the experience that's right in front of you, everything in your life, everything in your life can change. You can take a crappy snow day and turn it into one of the most amazing experiences of your child's life simply by changing your perspective. This is just how much editing can change a video and how important it is for you to be willing to adjust with your B-roll and stuff and filming it in a broad way to where you can change things and you can make them different. And in the end, I just want to help you guys get better at your filmmaking, the practical filmmaking tips to develop your skills and your business. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, subscribe. It helps me out a ton. I really appreciate it. Have a good day, guys.